Hello, my name is Cassie, and again today we are talking about genders, specifically non-binary genders. Pronouns, pronouns, pronouns are so much more important than we realize. They're not something we think about, and they... I think that the way that we are taught about them is entirely wrong. Um, you have no no idea how aggravated I get when I see on a test or a quiz or a paper or anything his slash her. Because that is very trans and non-binary exclusive. You are contributing to non-binary erasure. Um, because not everyone identifies as a him or a her. I do not identify as a him or a her. I identify as a they. The thing with gender neutral pronouns is I know that um, I was talking to uh, someone from the Netherlands and they said that in Dutch there is no gender neutral pronoun. Um, the closest thing they have is the word for it, and no one wants to be called it. I can understand that. Um, so, in languages where there is no gender neutral pronoun, it's difficult because you have to pick a gender. Um, with English, there are, there is they, them. But the thing is, the way we're taught about it is that they, them is plural. That's not exactly how it is executed in everyday language, though. And people need to understand that, that they can be singular. If you don't know the gender of someone, you more likely use they without even realizing it. If someone said, oh, the mailman just came, and you replied with, oh, hey, cool, would they bring me? You don't think of it. You don't think of it as plural. You're saying it as singular they, but in your mind you see it as singular and you don't think about it. If you're consciously trying to use they as a singular pronoun, um, sometimes you're like, your training and the, the schooling gets in the way of that and it's difficult to change your mindset, but it is possible. Trust me, when I first started learning about non-binary people and genderqueer people and I, the first person I saw that used they them pronouns, I was so confused. I was reading things and people were saying like, oh, they're such a nice person. And in my head I was going, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't, that's not right. Um, but in all honesty, it is. You just have to change the way you think about it. Recently, I told my journalism class that I am non-binary and I prefer they, them pronouns. And the teacher said, well, you're only one person, so how does that work? And I gave the example of, we use singular they all the time, we just think of it in a different way. So you have to adjust the way you think. And you kind of have to unlearn things sometimes because the way that we um, have been taught isn't right and isn't isn't the best way to understand something um, which it's difficult but with a conscious decision it is possible um, I know some other gender neutral pronouns that people use there's um, Z Zem which I think is taken from German but I don't know much about that um, and there's fey femme, I think. Please forgive me if I'm pronouncing these wrong. I've only seen them written. Um, I don't personally know anyone that uses these. Um, so it's a little more difficult. I feel that um, it's easiest for me to use pronouns that I'm familiar with and just adjust the way that I'm used to thinking about them. And I think that's that's easy for other people to do if you make a conscious decision. And please, 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 
try. That's all I'm asking. And that's all most trans people are asking. They, we can understand, understand if there's a slip up. If you've known us for a really long time and you accidentally call me a she, I can understand that because that's just how your brain tells your mouth to speak. Just, it just doesn't process all the way and it just comes out of your mouth. Um, I can understand that. I do it myself. Honestly, I'm so used to hearing she and her that sometimes I'll call myself a she and a her. And then I go, wait a second, that's not right. I'm not a girl. So I can understand when people slip up as long as you're trying most of the time. People that don't try and don't even attempt to understand it and change it aggravate me so much because you're not choosing to accept me. You're not choosing to respect the person that I know that I am. You're not choosing to respect me as a person. You're choosing to disregard the fight that I've had. You're choosing to make it easier on yourself to make it more difficult on others. I think that's how most people see it. If you are purposely misgendering someone, you are garbage. You are a piece of scum and you don't deserve to be friends with this person and don't deserve to have any relationship with this person whatsoever. If you are purposely, purposely calling a trans man, she, her, and not not even trying to see them as a man, which they are, and you're only choosing to see them for the sex they were assigned, you are a horrible person, honestly. And it's a horrible place to be in, to be in the middle of that. I have never once corrected someone on my pronouns. And it's because I, people don't understand and some people don't know. And honestly, it, it hurts me more than it helps me. There are times when I am dressed as a guy and I see myself as a guy and every time someone calls me she or her or refers to me as a girl or anything like that, it feels like a stab in the stomach. It feels like you are shoving a knife into my abdomen. It hurts. It is very harmful um, to not respect others. And I wish that people understood that. Um, I hope you learned things from this. I hope this was informative. Um, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments or you can tweet them to me. Um, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at creativesoul96 and I'd love to answer any questions or anything like that on the topic of being non-binary, on pronouns, on dysphoria, anything like that. I would much rather someone ask me questions and ask me my pronouns and my gender then just assume that I'm a girl. Because asking questions shows that you're trying to understand and that you're trying to respect the person versus just disregarding everything they've told you. So yes, please like the video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. I do want to talk more about these things. I hope that people ask me questions so that I can do sort of Q&A sort of things and stuff like that. Um, I'd love I'd love to answer questions. I'd love to be able to educate people um, versus just living in despair. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. Please know that if you know someone who is trans or even they're not heterosexual, anything like that, if they tell you these things, know that they trust you with them and that 
your response should be one of love and one of support and caring and understanding because this is not a choice. Honestly, if anyone had a choice, they would not choose to be any of these things. A positive response and love and support and understanding means more than anything. And if you are someone who is going through this and you don't have someone who loves and supports you and understands you, know that I do. I love you to the end of the world and I support you in your decision to embrace it because it's not a decision to be this way honestly it it's a decision to accept it and I think that's what people don't understand is it's not a choice it's a choice to embrace it and accept it please stay safe and be you, because that's the best thing that you could be.